everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Beck, and I'm a third year nursing student in Western Australia. I am here with a pretty exciting video. This video is going to be my top nursing placement essentials. I'm going to jump straight into the video. So enjoy! Number one is a spare uniform. It sounds like a silly thing, but as a nursing student or as a nurse, you're dealing with feces, you're dealing with urine, you're dealing with water, you are in amongst everything. And if your uniform gets wet in the shower, if your uniform gets poo on it, if your uniform gets blood on it, you have to change. You can't go walking around into other patients' room with another patient's blood on you, so you have to get changed. So having a spare uniform, whether that be in your car, in your bag, just anywhere, on hand, at all times, while you're on placement, it is great. So our university's policy is we have to present all of our original documentation on our first day to our CNF, which is our clinical nurse facilitator. So that includes our national police clearance, our criminal screening card, working with children's tech, everything. So it's just nuts. So what I like to do, and I pretty much keep it in this folder all the time, is the night before I'll go through and make sure I have everything. So I'll have all of my serologies printed out, ready, my national police clearance, all of my documentation in this file, ready to go. I'll put this in my bag the night before so I know that it's 100% there. And then the morning of the placement or when you're doing your orientation, you can just whip this out and you know that everything's in there that you need. Number three, good old trusty sneakers. You have to have good comfy shoes, otherwise you will be sorry, like I was. I decided that on my first year I was not doing many placements and I would be fine because I was just a first year. I didn't need to invest in really good quality shoes and I was wrong. I wore porous shoes when I was showering residents and I had soaking wet feet for the whole day. So get yourself a pair of sneakers that are leather, waterproof, slip resistant, great. These ones are just sketches from the sketches shop, I don't know, but they're good. Number four is a notebook. I don't care what kind of notebook it is or how small, make sure it fits in your pocket, but that's it. It's so good for writing vital signs down, writing things that patients say, writing things that you need to do, just having it on a list in your pocket, otherwise you will forget. So yeah, little notebook is always handy to have. Number five is pens. Oh my gosh, I can't stress this enough. You need black pens in your life all the time. Nurses have to write in black pens. I don't know if that's universal, but it's definitely Australian. They go missing all the time. Have them on you. Another thing is a highlighter. From my last placement, they had little care plans where they had 8 o'clock meds, 12 o'clock meds, and then they had like DDs. And so you just highlight if that patient had a med at 12 o'clock. So you know and you're on track of everything. I loved it. So yes, a highlighter. Another thing that I find really helpful is this little book. It's taken me ages to realise that I have this up until my last prac. I didn't have it on me during prac, but now I definitely will have it on me for prac all the time. It's the Paramedic and Emergency Pharmacology Guidelines by Matthew Cafe. Um, I will link it in the description box if I can find it. So basically it just shows you um, the description, the indication, the mechanism of action, pharmacokinetics, contraindications, adverse effects, precautions, prepar preparation and dosage in a little book that fits in your pocket. It's great to have on you because you really need to know your drugs and there's just so many. So when you're in an emergency setting especially, it's just nuts. So to be able to whip this out and be like, oh yeah, insulin, gotcha. I know the normal kind of doses and I know contraindications and stuff like that. So handy to have on you. So I would definitely recommend, I'm sure there's some sort of nursing um, related book like this, but this one will do for me. It doesn't really bother me at all. Next is little cheat sheets. And so my university, um, one of the students made these um, just for fundraising purposes for our graduation ball. But I have had so many comments on them and I use them every single time I'm on placement. This little one does all our different placements we do at my university. So we do paediatric medical, aged care, mental health, and surgical. So the surgical one has like the dermatomes, um, paediatric has like the drug calculation formulas, uh, the medical has like the Glasgow coma scale, arterial blood gases, um, isobar and A to E assessment, aged care, Braden score, um, 
all that sort of stuff. Mental health is your common drugs, your mental state exam, and verbal de-escalation techniques. This one is my favourite though. It's all about documentation, so it's got common abbreviations. So when you first get to like your first placement, the abbreviations they use in handover and on patients' notes, it's ridiculous. And you have no idea what it is, and you have to ask so many times, and it's so frustrating. So this is the best. And then it also has the common medications and their classes. So if you're doing your med rounds and you have a look at a medication, you're about to give it, but you don't know what you're about to give, and you're like, oh, I'm actually not sure what this is, you just whip this out and see, like, diazepam is a sedative. It's just really handy to have. So either make something up like this for yourself or find a little book that has this sort of stuff in it. Next is your stethoscope. These are actually very handy to have on you on placement, especially if you're doing a medical placement or a surgical placement or an ED placement because when you're running around and you're needing to do a manual blood pressure and the manual blood pressure stethoscopes are number one, used by everyone and number two, they usually don't work. And number three, they're usually not even on the little manual blood pressure trolley thing. So you're running around trying to find a stethoscope and then you're having to ask people if you can use their stethoscopes. So as much as when I first started, I didn't take my stethoscope with me, now I do. And another thing is, um, this is actually my mum's one, because it's better than mine <laughs> and I like to use it, um, is labelled it. So that's what my mum's done, is she's got just a patient ID tag and labelled it. So if she does lose it, if she just pops it around or lets someone borrow it, they, they should be able to find it, because these are bloody expensive. Next up is your little pen torch. Number one, night shift, going into patients' rooms. It's not an obnoxiously large torch that's really bright or the main light. And it's also really good for your neuro assessments. My last placement, I was stuck because I had to go do um, a neurological assessment on a patient that was deteriorating quite fast, and I didn't have one on me. So I had to, to run to a nurse, ask where they are, run down and get one. And so that was a bit stressful. If I just had it in my pocket, it would have been right there. And they're only tiny and little, so they don't take a much room. Next is your ID badge. I just got this little, this little thing off eBay. Um, it clips to my front pocket and then just clips to my ID badge. I also got this hard case off eBay, I'm pretty sure, or I got it from uni. They're just really good to have on you because you can just chuck them straight on your uniform and you don't have to think about them and they're always kind of shown. Next is a pretty typical one, so I'm not going to go into it. Fob watch. These are definitely a necessity. If you're counting respirations on a patient and you don't have one of these, you'll look at around the room for a clock, you don't have your phone on you because you're not allowed it, and it's just a nightmare. So always have yourself a fob watch on. This one was $3 off eBay. eBay people, so good. Get one. Next is a spare hair lackey. This one sounds like another one of those weird ones, but in Australia, I don't know if this is... I, I don't know about the rest of the world because everyone else seems to wear their hair out when they're nursing, but in Australia, you have to have your hair tied up either in a bun or if it's short in a ponytail. You can't have your hair flopping around like this. I wouldn't be allowed because you are constantly leaning over IVs, you're constantly leaning over wounds, changing people, everything. So just have a little spare hair lackey in your pocket. Another one that's a really good one that I've not heard before is having your scope of practice in your pocket. I don't know if this is particular to my university, particular to Western Australia, but we have a scope of practice, our different placements. So first year, we're allowed to do this. Second year, we're allowed to do this and this. Third year, we're allowed to do all of this and then this. So that little piece of paper in your pocket stops you from ever doing something you're not allowed to do. I've had people come up to me and be like, oh, can you put a catheter in? Oh, can you take an IV out? And I haven't known exactly if I can or not because I haven't checked. That's one thing that I find really handy to have and something that my facilities love when I have. So I can whip it out and be like, oh actually yes I can give that intramuscular injection or I can't put that catheter in just yet. Another thing is having mints. As a nursing student, or as a nurse, anything, you're having lots of coffee but you're also right up in patients' faces. So for this reason I like to have mints in my bag. So after I have my morning tea and have a coffee or while I'm drinking a coffee while I'm on the ward, I will have a mint so that way when I'm talking up close to someone I'm not stinking them out because that's just gross and it's not nice for your patients. 
Following on from the same kind of one, having deodorant in your bag is great. One thing when you're running around, especially when you first start, you're not used to being on your feet, you're not used to running around, so you're sweating a lot. If you stink, that is so offensive to your patients and it just makes them feel uncomfortable and makes them not enjoy your presence and even your other like nursing staff. So I always just have deodorant on me after my morning tea break, I'll either spritz myself with some perfume or some deodorant or whatever. Another one that I have not actually tried myself, but I have heard so many things about is compression stockings. I really do want to get some for myself because when I come home, my feet are always just achy. Compression stockings are supposed to help, so try them out, let me know if they work. I need to try them out. I will stop being lazy and buy some. Another one I forgot to mention is having a name badge. Usually your university will have a name badge. These little um, handmade ones, I think they're handmade in New Zealand or something like that and you can make them however you want. So I got a little surfy girl one for my Esperance placement, so it's a little surfer, just says Beck. A lot of the time they'll be really helpful in paediatric placements because, you know, they're less scary and intimidating than this big scary name badge. Last but not least is a water bottle. When I first started, I was so nervous about even having the water bottle at the nurse's station because I was like, no, that's intruding. That's ruining their personal space. But then I would get so dehydrated when I was on prac that I would feel sick. So you need to put your water bottle at the nurse's station. Just do it. Drink throughout your shift because otherwise you will feel like crap. Anyways, <laughs> so that is my top things to bring while you're out on placement as a student nurse. I really hope you enjoyed this little video and be sure to check out my other ones and otherwise thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.